You know, I'm pretty sure that tomorrow we're not going to see a big, massive, fat rally in the price of Bitcoin and crypto. However, in less than 24 hours, it's just going to add another stepping stone, a domino effect that's going to reveal that all the time we've been waiting, it's all going to make sense. It's all going to pay off. What's going on, everybody? Oscar here. I like this post and I just want to talk a little bit about it. All these ETF funds applying for Bitcoin ETF. But why is it why is this happening you know we're seeing banger fidelity blackrock so many different asset managers banks like they know something we don't know not right we know that bitcoin is gonna pass a hundred thousand dollars that all the different outcomes are gonna do well not all of them right but most of them the good ones and they don't want to miss out these asset managers, these billionaires, these sometimes trillion level companies and millionaires, they know that they can make money from us all day long. But this Bitcoin technology, yeah, it's already collapsing, going down, inflation, making us spend less sometimes. So they want to have control of Bitcoin and the blockchain industry by having some great partnerships, by getting into asset managers. I'm like having some spot Bitcoin ETFs and it's really nothing that we can do about it, right? The only good thing is that they really cannot own Bitcoin entirely. But the thing that they can do is create spot Bitcoin ETFs so they sell to their own customers and make managers fees. All of these funds are competing with one another. Even the high demand for Bitcoin, they all want a piece of the, uh, you know, of the action and aiming to become the biggest. I don't believe a spot Bitcoin ETF will immediately send Bitcoin to the moon or you know, to 100K. These fund managers earn from management fees, right? If you're doing a Roth IRA, mutual funds, it all kind of adds to their fees. But when it comes to these new asset funds, for sure, that's where they're looking for. They know that there's going to be a transition in Generation X, baby boomers, right? The ones that are left as time go on that they want to get into more risky assets and that's going to be Bitcoin. I don't think the people who don't do crypto are going to come into Cardano, altcoins and all of that. Now they're just going to start with some already pre-existing mutual funds or Bitcoin ETFs. They're going to be like, you know what? I'm not investing in the token, but I'm investing in this because it's a little safer for them. And that's what they want. They know a bunch of a, a massive wave of clients is ready to buy and any good crypto enthusiast degen wouldn't buy that because why would you buy something owned by a bank or an asset manager instead go to the blockchain and own your own stuff with your keys that's not what these companies are going to teach them they're going to teach them you know that's risky the sec has said it's full of scams fraud Come to us, we protect you, and leave them to rot. I mean, it kind of sounds weird, guys, but this is kind of like the way I think. Um, tomorrow, we're going to have a pretty good, exciting time when it comes to the SEC and the Fed, as we're seeing right now, that they're going to do some pause, the interest rate hike, or a little bit of 25 basis points, whatever happens. Thankfully, some outcomes have risen after, not immediately. I don't think it's going to happen immediately, right? During the FOMC, there's really nothing that we don't know from Jerome Powell. The only thing he's going to say is oil prices are going up. The CPI headline is going higher because of that. And core is going down, which is good. That's why here's the pause. Boom. Next FOMC, we might raise interest rates once again. That's it. I just summarized what's probably, what's probably going to happen tomorrow. I'll be ready for two more in less than 24 hours. It's going to be a lot of interesting action, but I'm just telling you guys, this is one of the reasons these big asset managers come and try to push their own agendas. BlackRock is not, is not going to stop Bitcoin and then the next technology. But what you and I can do, protect our investments by buying and owning the blockchain, right? Eventually, it's not about buying Bitcoin so that you can change that to fiat and then buy with fiat. It's with fiat, buy Bitcoin and call and never sell, like Michael Saylor always says.
that's it guys just a quick update share my thoughts you ready it's gonna be exciting and whatever happens just think big picture zoom out and we're gonna be just fine but i know people are already tired of hearing that so we'll just have to see for ourselves peace